I'm on the beach. Hey, I'm on the beach doing my walk. La la la, typical Wednesday. And I, um, I almost stepped on this crab. And I don't know, I've never seen a crab this big on the beach before. Look, it's ne here it is next to my hand. I'm scared I don't know if it's alive. Look, it's so big. Is it alive? Do we think it's alive? I don't have a stick to like check it out. But it's, it's beautiful. It's all in one piece. Have you, have you ever seen one like this before? I've never even seen this shape before. And I, I don't, it hasn't moved, but it seems to be all in one piece. So, right? Because, I mean, usually the birds get them. Yep. Yeah, this whole time I've been here, the waves haven't come up this far. It's enormous. Is there, is there like a, I mean, I guess I could touch it. It's not going to pinch me or anything, is it? No, it's not alive. No. Oh, sorry, crab. Back to the sea for you. You mean there's more? There's more to the story? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, hey, Christine. So a second ago, or a, a few minutes ago, um, I did a little periscope from the beach. I was walking on the beach, and um, there was, this is Ocean Beach in San Diego. And there was this enormous red crab on the beach. It was like this big. And I'm a native San Diegan. You saw it. I'm a native San Diegan. I walk that beach at least once a week. I've never in my whole life, I've never seen a crab like this. Bright red. And um, you saw me like a freak out and I touched the crab and I was like, oh, the crab is dead. Oh, man. Oh, no. Sorry, Christine. And um, I was really bummed out. And I'm walking down the beach and I was like, but it makes no sense to have a whole, because usually the birds get the crabs. Sorry to say. Um, so you might see a crab leg, things like that on the beach, but you don't see a whole crab. And so I thought, well, something must be wrong with the crab. It must be sick, must be poisoned. I bet we poisoned the crabs and here we go. We're destroying the, and I was so, my mind just, oh really? My mind just like went running away with me as it does. And I went down the beach and when I was coming back the other way this time, um, this woman that was also walking on the beach had stopped to look at the crab and this surfer had stopped typical ocean beach surfer with like dreads and the Mexican poncho. <laughs> and he's looking at the crab too. And I was like, Oh, I think I was looking at that earlier. I think it's dead. And the guy, he's like, really? And he picks up the, the surfer picked up the crab. And not only was the crab not dead, not only was it not dead, but we could see when he picked the crab up that it was a female crab that had crawled onto the beach to lay its eggs. So like the complete opposite of being dead. Not only was it not dead, it was there to give many, many lives. And what was even cooler about this, and I really hope we didn't just totally mess this up. What was even cooler about this, I realized, was that the crab had perfectly timed this perfectly timed it so that it came on the beach laid the eggs the tide was coming in so there were no birds to eat the crab or the eggs and so the crab could like lay the eggs and skedaddle and the eggs would be cool and, and protected by the incoming tide um at least that's what i i figure i'm not an oceanographer or anything like that but um but here's what i learned number one things are not always what they seem number two we shouldn't let our negative thoughts run away with us. And number three, you know, a couple a couple of days ago, um, our word of the day was faith. And uh, things have a way of just working themselves out in this divine timing. Somehow the crab, you know, had this instinct and the exact time it needed to be on the beach. I really hope we did not like by picking the crab up and poking it and stuff. I really hope we didn't like wreck that whole process. Fingers crossed, right? Um, but 
things unfold the way that they're supposed to fold. We shouldn't try to force things to happen the way we want them to happen when we think is the best time to happen because we don't always know what's best. <laughs> and life, this is the biggest lesson I learned, life is, life perseveres despite anything that gets thrown in its path. So, um, so yeah, things are not always what they seem. Not a dead crab at all. A very, very much alive crab that was about to launch many more little crab lives. Amazing. So, um, remember that today. It finds a way, always. Life always finds a way. And if we have some faith and just let things unfold a little bit, usually we're happy with the result. Um, so yeah. Yeah, things are not always what they seem. And uh, have some faith. Sometimes we need to be reminded. And if you have to poke an icky crab to be reminded, so be it. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>